session one, part two. All in all, it must be understood that a call for no security and salvation is part of Protestant orthodoxy. So this is something we've got to talk about, okay? Protestant orthodoxy, which includes Methodist, Baptist, whatever you want to talk about, um, has a call for, or is the soteriology is predicated on not having assurance of salvation. So that's something we need to talk about in this session, okay? While pastors in our day preach about assurance and its benefits, Martin Luther and John Calvin were against assurance and believed that it hindered sanctification. According to Protestant orthodoxy, the quote, process of salvation is, is affected by um, or um, moved forward by a Protestant doctrine called mortification and vivification. This is a perpetual rebirth through a, quote, lifestyle of repentance. One is convicted of sin as a Christian, or what is referred to as, quote, present sin, leading to repentance, or, quote, mortification of sin, which results in the joy of forgiveness and spiritual rebirth. In a nutshell, the Protestant salvation process is reliving the original death and rebirth over and over and over again. Okay, um, full stop. In order for Protestant salvation processes of mortification and vivification to take place, a fear of eternal judgment for present sin must be present to legitimize the process. Okay? <laughs> we got one back here shaking their head like, what? Okay, and the first thing you're going to hear is, well, Paul, I've been going to First Baptist Church, uh, you know, uh, Louisville or whatever for years, and, you know, they never taught that. Well, actually, they did, just not outright. Okay, so... Put on your crash helmet, fasten your seatbelt, all right? Th this is going to be a ride, all right? Hang in there with me. Um, again, I'm going to repeat that. In order for the Protestant salvation process of mortification and vivification to take place, a fear of eternal judgment for, quote, present sin must be present to legitimize the process. Okay, in other words, the Protestant must remain under condemna condemnation for the process to work. Fear of judgment must be present. Okay, which, yes, is antithetical to uh, what the Bible, the, what the whole New Testament describes as under grace. Okay. Here is the bottom line. Assurance of salvation circumvents the process of salvation. Let me reread that. Um, and why I'm talking so much about it. Um, assurance of salvation actually circumvents the Protestant process of salvation. Okay? This is what people have to understand and why there's so much confusion. Confusion. 